Hey guys, this is a special episode. I'm catching up with, you guessed it, with Melinda. And she's here and she's had some tremendous growth. So I want to talk to her. And without further ado, Melinda, what has been going on with your life? Last we spoke, last we spoke, last time we spoke, she was like, Chris, all my work is gone. What did you do to me? You tried to ruin me or what? Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, stay with the plan, follow the process, trust me, and I'll take care of you. So wonderful things have happened. Yes. You are leading the charge for a bunch of designers to start to charge for their knowledge. So I want to hear kind of where you're at, and then I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions about how you got to be where you're at. Okay. All right, give us the, like, the big update. The big update? Well, last time I was here, we were here with Rebecca, and I was saying how all of my leads had dried up <laughs> and my work, <laughs> and I was probably eating Top Ramen and something really Oh, hush. <laughs> hush. <laughs> Wasting away. Top Ramen um, over Kobe steak, but yes. Now, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so since then, one huge thing that's changed are the leads. The leads are coming in. Yes. I have a a lot of leads, which now, and I've sold jobs at a much higher price. Now I have to do them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm dealing with actually- New problems, right? Yeah, new problems, right. great problems. I'm not complaining, I'm very thankful. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a completely different, it's a huge shift, a huge shift. And it started, I would say right after Thanksgiving, I got all the leads. So it, it does take time. I just want to let everybody know, it does take some time. You all expect instant results. Like if I do X, then Y will happen immediately. And it doesn't work like that. Real life does not work like that. It takes time to, to prepare the soil, to, to plant, and, to, and then you don't get to harvest for some time. So let's just get into the nitty and the gritty, if you will. The nitty gritty, which is you're getting a bunch of leads now, which is fantastic. We'll talk more about how you got those leads, but let's talk about charging more. Let's just yeah. dangle the carrot out there for them. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you're charging more? Like, how much more? Where Where do you go from and where are you at now? Well, I went from, one, not doing strategy at all, mm -hmm. using a questionnaire as my strategy, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, and I wasn't charging for that. And now I am charging. I'm leading with that. I'm actually selling that. Not really selling. I'm trying to align with my client. I don't want to say sell because yeah. I'm not pushing anyone into anything. That's right. Um, I'm aligning with their goals and their problems. And I, and I am offering them strategy first, mm -hmm. really as the only option if they would like to work with me. Mm. And um, I'm, I'm presenting it in a way that they fall in love with strategy and then I'm charging for it. So that is a massive change from not charging for a questionnaire in which I call, which I did call my strategy. Right, I To actually doing in-person workshops and selling that strategy. It's okay, I think you've done an excellent job of avoiding my question. Well, repeat. <laughs> how much are you charging from, how much are you charging today relative to what you were just charging a little while ago? Can you give it's us an idea? Yeah, well, it's just completely different because the structure is different. Well, tell me about the structure and then the price attached to that structure then. Okay. So th previously I charged zero for strategy. Right. Now I charge the last one. I've charged 5,000. 5,000 bucks. So I went from zero Woo! to 5,000 for strategy alone. Okay. So that's a big number for a lot of people to process right now. And some people are like, w w what is strategy? Like, what do you mean you charge 5,000 and why weren't you able to do it before? So we'll spend a little time talking about this part. And I think the people want to know, because this is radically different because people are struggling in the streets, wherever you're watching this, to even get four or 500 bucks for a logo. And that's like work. You're talking about like getting paid to think. Mm -hmm. What's a good problem to have? It is. Okay. It so is, yes. let's talk a little bit about that then um, in terms like what is strategy to you now? We kind of underst understand a little bit about what you, th you referenced before, but now that you're doing it, tell the people what it is. Tell the people what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretend well, like, okay. Pretend like I'm a client. Oh, like ding dong. Hey, Melinda, I want to work oh, with you. I saw your work. Again? <laughs> You can't Chris, avoid you know it. how this turns out. It turns out great every single time. Yeah, every, every single, single time. time. She does a great, great job. It, yeah. Well, it's okay. 
open to interpretation, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> okay, so yes. I'm just a brand new client. This time it's going to be really easy because you're a super pro now. So, <laughs> you know, ring, ring, here we go. Uh, I want to work with you. I saw your website. I've seen you on all these podcasts and your Instagram is amazing. I want to work with you. How do we do that? You want to work with me? What are mm-hmm. you looking for? I'm looking to rebrand. Oh, you're looking to rebrand. Mm-hmm. Okay. So have you have you thought of a certain budget? Do you have a certain budget set aside for this? I don't. You don't. Okay. Well, typically, depending on the size of your company, marketing efforts are around 5% to 10%, depending on what your goal is, mm-hmm. so of your gross revenue. So with that said, what is, what's your goal of rebranding? Why are you even, what, what makes you want to rebrand? I just feel like it's outdated and, you know, I hired some friend of the family who did it originally and it's been okay, but we're growing and I feel like when, when we look at what we do, I'm not proud of the, the, our identity. I'm not proud proud at all. And so could you describe to me where you're at currently as far as you want to grow? I hear you want to grow, so that's your ideal. And mm-hmm. you want to continue to grow, so that's mm-hmm. your ideal. Mm-hmm. Um, but you feel that you are stale or can you describe to me what that feeling is? Why do you feel that way about your brand well, currently? Well, I'm going to show you this. Look at this. Doesn't this look janky to you? I mean, it just feels like it's not professional. It doesn't feel like we're innovative. It doesn't feel like it's reflective of what our value is. I, we're we're an $80 million company, and this looks like some kid did it. Because in truth, some kid did do it. Okay. I, I want a professional touch. I saw the work that you do. It's very classy. It's very stylish. It's very modern. That's what I want for my company. Great. Well, it sounds like your, from what I'm hearing, is that your ideal client um, are they feeling the same thing that you are too? Are you losing them? Are you gaining them? Hmm. I don't know. I think we would like to have more clients. We're growing, so I, I think we're gaining clients okay. and customers. Yeah. Okay. Well, typically during this conversation, I yeah. would have something visual to show, and I'd be writing down where you are, which is here, and then I would be writing down your ideal, which is there, so they can see it visually, and we're both looking at something together. Mm-hmm. I then would break it down where in the middle, this is your aim, and so I'd start asking you questions. Well, what is this obtainable, what's an obtainable goal about midway between where you are now and where you want to be? Mm, okay. What would that look like to you? Well, you know, I don't know yet. I mean, I just really, I would like to start with a rebrand. So I'm thinking we need a new logo. We need a new identity system. Probably somewhere down the line, we'll need a website to reflect all this stuff. But for right now, I think I think the identity is really important. Great. So that are those are the tasks that will get us to that goal. What does that goal actually look like for your company? Where's your company during that time? What do you is mean? it... Did your company grow in revenue? Do you want your company to grow as far as sales, as far as attracting a certain kind of customer? What does that look like? Because those things like the logo, the rebrand, are more of a vehicle to get you to the goal or a task to get you there, mm-hmm. but they aren't the end goal. So they're they're there to get you to your goal. So what would that look like for you? Maybe I'm not understanding this. I mean, I, I just feel like things don't look very good right now. And I feel like if we could just do that, I'd be more proud to represent ourselves like as we go out into the world. I almost feel ashamed. Like, I don't even want to give you my business card right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So then an obtainable goal, what I'm hearing is that it would be that you're proud of your company and that you want to go around and that you want to be proud of it. You want to show it off. You Mm -hmm. want to feel that you are above your competitors. Mm -hmm. Right? Sounds good. Okay. I like that. Well, this is how I do it. And okay. then you would see visually how strategy comes into play with that, where strategy is the core that we mm-hmm. have to start with. Mm-hmm. The next thing are objectives. So that would be something like UX. That would be marketing funnels. That would be goals. They're actually measurable goals. From there, we have deliverables. And so if we actually start with the logo first, we're going to have a very shell of a brand. And it's not going to be held up by mm. anything because there's no goals and there's no purpose. So we actually start with brand strategy first. And it, you would see a goal. You would, or you would see a, a diagram of that if you were sitting down with me. Okay. With client. I, I love what you're saying. This feels right. I feel like we want. you're the right person to do this. So how much do you charge to do this? 
So typically, brand strategy is starts at five thousand and can mm-hmm. range all the way to fifteen, and you okay. can see also what those options would be. Okay, and what do I get for that? Like, why do I need to do this? Yeah, so it sounds like you want to get to your goal, and typically my clients, which in this conversation we would end up seeing that you are possibly not focused, that you are trying to do several things at once but not getting very far, and so I have some things to walk through to show that, and usually clients are like. Yes, I totally relate to that. Mm-hmm. So with that, um, focus and clarity is what I'm I'm mainly leading with, with mm-hmm. strategy. And mm-hmm. so the first package is um, strategy to find out who the ideal client is, to know them very well, to also provide a marketing funnel strategy. So the overarching funnel of how does the client become aware of you all the way to how do they end up being an advocate of your company? Because mm-hmm. you want people to share and then refeed the funnel. So that you don't have to keep putting money in. Okay. So that sound good? That you don't have to put money mm. back into to gain those ideal yeah, clients? Yeah, that that they're sounds, your advocates? That sounds great. Right? That sounds great. And we would also go over your brand, too, and who you are so that what you said about wanting to be confident in your brand and and be able to feel like you're above the competition, we would also nail down all those, the attributes, the positioning statement, the value proposition in that early time so that we know where we're going and where you're going. Okay. So that that sounds all wonderful, but like, I, I just want you to do our identity. Can can we just skip this process? Well, do you have a brand strategy already? I have something, yeah. You have something, mm-hmm. and what does that entail? Well, I can send it to you after this. Okay. And maybe I can kind of share with you what we have. I can. It has a little bit about our mission statement, what our some of our beliefs are. Okay, that that more stands for something that's. That is aligned with your business Mm -hmm, plan. mm -hmm. And this is more in line with how you reach your ideal client. So they're a little bit different, and I work through this certain process. Mm -hmm. So if you like to work with me, then we do start at brand strategy. So you're saying you won't do this unless we hire you to do the brand strategy? That's correct, because I feel that I've I've actually used to do this. I used to be a freelancer, and I would take on the projects that were the deliverables, and I didn't even think about what my client's goals were. And if we were reaching those goals and we were helping the client get to those goals, and it was I ended up being an expense. And I don't want to do that to my clients anymore, so I have switched over into the world of brand strategy because I want to align with my clients' goals and then have them align with their own clients. So... <laughs> So it is, and this is, again, This is a, there's a diagram here where it shows brand strategy, <laughs> objectives, and deliverables. So if someone, so people typically come to me for the deliverables. Yes. But there is no goal and no strategy attached, so we don't know if you're reaching your goal. So then it always ends up being an expense and not an investment. Mm, okay, you give me a lot to think about here. So if the strategy part costs $5,000, and I hear a lot of people say this, so... I'm I'm not sure you all are saying the same thing, mm-hmm. but if I have to spend five thousand bucks, okay, what's the logo going to cost me? The logo is going to cost you a minimum of five thousand on top of okay, the strategy. Okay, at minimum. Mm-hmm. Okay, what would affect the price? The complexity. The uh, I'm breaking character. This is- <laughs> you 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 can't just decide when you <laughs> well, want to break yes, character because my I little can. brain. Hey, look, I can't. Yo. Yeah. Yo, my brain can't process like when you're like, well, uh, is she breaking well, characters? Well, I have visuals, so we're breaking no, my own process. we're just having a too. conversation. I know, I don't really? have this. I really? do visuals, yes. Mm, so well, I go from right. initial... I gotta coach you on how to do this without anything. Well, I well, I have to do it with visuals currently because I have nothing on my site to show this at Oh, all. it doesn't matter. Okay, well you, then... You have it up here. Do teach, Master I Bill. will, I will, but let's finish this out though. Okay, mm. so, I'm te- so I'm just saying this because my process that I'm currently doing doesn't... It, this would not happen because I have case studies to show. Okay. And I have a process to show. Okay. So. Huh. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So where were we? I was asking you about like. Logo. Logo. Yeah. And it's like, well, what can impact the price? And you answered that, right? Yes. All right. Now, see, now we were like busy arguing about something. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. It's like an old married couple over here. It's like, what are we, ta- what are we talking about? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. All right. I, I think we got your role plan. I think I have some tips for you, but we'll circle back to that later. Okay. Okay. So we've established now that you charge $5,000 to do strategy, and it really can impact the client's business, which makes you feel good. 
Right. It, it gets you a seat at the table, so you're not an order taker. You're an advisor to the client. Correct. And I like that you stood your ground. So if they insist that this is not going to happen, wh- how do you say it? So let me let me get back into the role play. Don't break character now. Stop pointing well, to the screen. Like I at this have point, to I would. No, because you're breaking my no. process. So what? <laughs> I'm just, well, if you want to improvise, if you want to improvise, but if you want a true example of what goes on, then. Okay. If you don't, if you want something new, then okay. <laughs> but if you really want to know what's going <laughs> on, this is not what we're uh, going on. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> okay, go back to strategy then. No. <laughs> okay. We're moving on. I don't okay. know what we're talking about. We're talking about we're that, if I, some don't, editing here. that if I don't take them on as yeah, okay. deliverable so, only. So so get, get rid of me then. Let's just say that I, I just like, okay, look, I really like you. I think I can spend five to $8,000 on the logo by itself. I'm just not really into this other thing. I just I, I need to get this thing done, and we've had somebody do this for us before, and it really got us nowhere. So, are you okay. saying that you won't take on this job? I see. I would delve into why things okay. went bad over there. Stay in character. Okay. okay. <laughs> I thought you were leading me somewhere else. This is bad. See, this is. <laughs> this is like, I do this. This happens. is why Melinda never comes on the show. It's why she won't come on the show anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Well, yes. That is <laughs> because I don't feel that it would get you to your goal. That I'll have to refer you to someone else that would take on a logo only hmm. from the start. Okay, that's a bummer. I would love to work with you though. Okay. I would, truly. I'd love to get those referrals. Who who are you gonna send me? I have a list. You have a I'll list. I'll send you. Yeah. <laughs> You're checking it I'll twice? send you right after this call. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. End scene. We'll, we'll stop it right there. Okay. Let's let's get back to this whole thing. Uh, I'm going to have to teach you how to say no. Okay. I'm going to have to teach you how to do this without visuals. Okay. And so that you can be in the flow. A lot of this is, okay, you're relatively new still, relatively speaking. So soon you'll be able to do this kind of over the phone while you're driving to have Starbucks. It would be no problem. Okay, that's cool. And the initial call, which I took from you last time, was to qualify the price. Yeah. So the initial one's that. And then the second one, just letting you know what I'm currently doing so you can rip it apart. (laughs) Is there's no that, oh, there's this is to, to celebrate you, to honor you. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. uh, is to get them on a Skype call or in-person meeting if okay. I am local. And that is right. hence why I use visuals because I have nothing on my site. I Because I lead with deliverables at the moment on my website, which right. is not going to be that way next month. Good. You so, already know the task. I already know. So right. that's why I felt like instead of having things on my website in case studies that I'm going to have them in person and then show them mm. and talk them through mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which so Little far right has here. worked out for me okay. to get to 5,000. All right. So I'm going to say this because I'm going to give voice to our audience who are watching. They're like, oh, my God, I can't believe she's saying no to a five to $8,000 logo. How do you can handle that criticism? Like, what did you charge to do this just a year ago? A year ago, I was charging before we, before before we, we spoke. The, the top one was like a branding package was 6300 Okay. So a year ago, you were happy with 6300 And now, just a year later, somebody's going to offer you five to $8,000 to do a logo again. Right. Right? And you're like, mm. how, how do you speak to that? Like, t- what has happened to you? <laughs> what is So spoiled <laughs> so fast. Well, those people that are complaining, now they have a client. Potentially. That you're going to give them. That I will give them. And why would you do that now? Why would I do that now? Mm -hmm. Because I, because of the reasons I was telling you as the client that one, I know it's not necessarily, I don't know this for sure, but it's not necessarily going to reach their goal. And so if, if everything's not in alignment as far as strategy and their goals and we're not getting anywhere, we're just checking things off a list. So it's like, do you want to have, do you want to just check something off the list or do you want to be effective? And I, now that I've tasted the greatness. <laughs> I want to be effective because to me that's worth more than the money. It really is. I see. So it's almost like you took the pill and you entered into the matrix and now you know it's all fake. That that's not cheeseburger that you're eating. It's like code. And you can't go back. I can't go back. You'd rather live back. in the raw dirty world that we know yes. rather than go back to that place. Yes. That's interesting. Okay, so there's a lot of people in our group in our pro coaching group who are still, I don't want to use the word struggling, but it's still a challenge for them to get to that 
place where they can charge five thousand dollars just for the thinking part. There's only a handful. There's about half a dozen of you guys so far、mm-hmm. that have separated out. And and I know there's a lot of people who think、well, I charge strategy for all of that, but it's all lumped together. So first of all, I want to say kudos to you for being able to do it, and also. Kind of listening to the advice that I give you,、mm-hmm. and a lot of people are like, "I'm doing it," but they don't do it the way I tell them to do it. So then I'm like, "You're not doing it, right?" So some、yeah. people are still kind of mush it together. I don't think they're confident enough to separate it apart,、mm-hmm. because once you separate it, it's like you're validating that there's value there,、mm-hmm. and that they're willing to hire you for that reason, and that's excellent. So I have to ask you this question: What makes you so special? What makes you so different? Because I give advice out to strangers on the internet, I give advice to the coaching group, one-on-one coaching. Why, why were you able to achieve what they weren't able to achieve? That's a deep question. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I feel like it's a simple answer, though. What is it? I just did it. I just started. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is to those who are stalled. Well, Just do the first small, very small step, whatever that is. For me, it was learn how to do strategy. The second one, it was get someone to agree to let me do strategy for them for their company. One of them was my cousin. One of them was my good friend slash client that I have worked with before.、Uh, another one was a previous client.、Um, someone else was a friend, and. Yeah, one. I think one other was a, a previous client as well. So a lot of them were friends. They were family members. They were previous clients that I felt comfortable with, and they agreed to to let me do strategy for them. And with every single one of those, I got more confident with it. And then I realized, oh my gosh, there's magic in this. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was converted after that. <laughs> There you go. The skies the parted skies and this ray of light came. But and it, like, it、oh, really it's so came. So warm in the sunlight. It came after every single strategy that I did、mm-hmm. for someone. I saw the difference that it made, or the light bulb that came on with them, and the clarity that they had. And then I thought, oh my gosh, if this happened with the first person, just think what will happen with the next and the next. And、oh, every time I、better. did it, yeah, I got, yeah. I got better.、Mm-hmm. I changed my strategy document and my process as I went because I was seeing the needs, or I saw the roadblocks, or what was not necessary,、mm-hmm. or where things got confusing, and I,、mm-hmm. I straightened those out. And every time, every time I do strategy now, I add something or I take something away、right. because of what I've done previously, and. Now I'm. I feel confident in what I'm charging, and I feel confident in even raising my prices because I see the impact that it's making on the businesses that I've already worked with and the people. It's not just the business. It's the like I had one client, and she's the one that was my friend. She said, "You're the only one that I feel got that who understands my vision."、Mm. And she had other hug. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she did. Did you cry? I don't know about crying. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna, get you, I'm gonna get、She、you. I'm gonna get you to to dough status where they start crying and <laughs> hugging you. I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> All right, this is good because it's it, it can be cathartic. I just want to say that cathartic. We'll put the definition right there. Cathartic. Okay. So you did a great job of explaining something, but you didn't answer my question. I want to get into your mind. I want to crawl into this brain, and say like, there's some random dude that you saw on the internet. And you come in, you chat with me a couple of times, a little bit of coaching, and I and I told you that you're not doing strategy, and you took it like a champ. You got like an iron chin because I smacked you. And you're like, yeah, what else you got? I'm like, oh, I got more. And then you get into the core framework, and you quietly go off and do your thing. It is a special somebody that can just take a little bit of information. And even though it's counter to everything they've done before that moment, yet you're willing to just move forward without sitting there and thinking and overanalyzing, overthinking, and die a death of paralysis by analysis. <laughs> you just did it. And what what what's in your personality? What's in your background? Your upbringing? Your belief system that allows you just to do it? Because that's the magic. If I can figure that out with you, I can make a lot of difference to those people out there. Right. Okay, that's deep. Hold on. I'm gonna move I'm you. Video. Center the camera.、Oh, are you gonna、I'm、have gonna, music? I'm gonna, I'm gonna can you、out. have music? And... <laughs> I'm gonna move up. Go ahead. You're you're there. Just tell the people. We'll edit the this. People.、Together. Okay. 
First, it's my beliefs. Because I feel that my accomplishments don't define who I am. That who I am is is not attached to, to what I do or what I accomplish or even the things that I fail with or fail doing. Um, that's the first one, that, that who I am matters to the one that, that matters most to me. Um, and so that to me, that's, that's my guiding light in life. And so that's how I approach most situations. And I'm growing, obviously I'm not perfect, but that's, it's my beliefs. Cause I feel like we, we talked about thoughts influence behaviors, but even before that, I believe it's beliefs. Um, it's a belief about who you are and why you're here. Um, that's the first one that's like the deepest, the deepest one. Uh, the second one is, I believe it is in my personality to just do things. Um, when I was 16, my cousin slash piano teacher, he wanted me to start teaching piano. And I was like, I'm 16 years old. I don't even know piano that well. I'm not that great. And, um, a lady called me two days later and she's like, Hey, I heard that you give piano lessons and there's two, I have two kids that I want you to teach. And I was like, well, I do now. So I took that, um, that way of just accepting things as they come, like the crazy, you know, man on the internet that I was standing next to, <laughs> um, that when opportunities come to you or when things that you learn come up, that you just embrace them. Kind of like what Chris always tells us, embrace and pivot, but you can do that in your own life. And I, I do that in my own life is I embrace what comes and then I move forward. So um, if we want it at the deepest level, that's what. Aren't you scared? That's what it is. Of what? I don't know. Most people are afraid. I feel like this is weird because there's just a voice coming in from the <laughs> side. Okay. So just you don't want to come back? Look right back there. <laughs> just pour your heart out and right to that camera. Look right down the okay, barrel. Okay, say the, say the question again. Aren't you afraid? Like, why can you do what few people have been able to do? Besides saying, like, yep, yeah, I just did it. <laughs> Help them out. Um, there is fear there, but to me, for me, the excitement is, it overshadows the fear. And the other thing that I had mentioned to Chris before when he had asked me that, um, a big difference too, for me this past year was, was being aware of what I'm thankful for. And that, um, what that looks like for me is sending two of my friends a gratitude list of three things I'm most thankful for. Uh, every single day, every morning, no matter how bad our day was, no matter how bad we're feeling, that we always send three things we're grateful for. So one, it helps with accountability because you see that your friends are doing it and we never bash each other if we forget, but it's the fact that we see someone else doing it that then we do it as well. Um, the other thing is just sharing in gratitude and it changes your mind that you start actually looking for those things that you're grateful for and that are good things instead of, um, I think our, it's easy to get into that rut of naturally seeing what we suck at and what went bad and how someone treated us and start blaming things um, or people for what our life is right now. And so doing the gratitude list has, I feel like it's changed my brain too over the past few months um, since I believe I started that like a couple weeks after I got coached by Chris. And that coupled with just moving forward and doing it. And so then when I, when I say did the first strategy um, session with my client, I had to do my gratitude list the next day. And so instead of thinking, oh, that went horribly, I did this wrong and I should have done this, that I was just thinking of all the good things that came out of it. I thought, oh my gosh, my client was excited and they found out this about their business and they did this and it, I, I was able to uncover this or make this connection. And so I'm constantly now thinking in the positive light instead of the negative. So that's a big one. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> that's fantastic. So you, how long ago did you graduate from school? 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Okay. So that means a couple of things. That means you can be pretty set in your rhythms in life for 10 years and have a change like that. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's stopping you is you. And that's why I'm just so appreciative of being able to watch you grow, to see you take on things and just, you know, I'm going to give myself some credit. Go for it. I'm gonna you just, deserve it. I'm just going to go do one of these things. I'm going to say something here. Is if People always ask me, how do you determine who's going to be on the show? Because obviously there's a lot of people who reach out and say, Chris, help us, help us, critique this, help me, coach me, mentor me. 
But you see, I, I pride myself on being able to spot talent. And talent isn't necessarily what you guys think. Sometimes, some of you guys might think talent, well, she has a giant Instagram following or she's already a design superstar. And that's not the case at all. What I saw in Melinda, which is very rare, is I put out a task for people to do. The task was to draw grids over logos. And what Melinda did just exceeded my expectations in such a way that I was thinking, here's a person who took a little bit of an idea, a kernel, and made it blow up. So this is a lesson to all of you guys that that kind of spirit is rewarded whether or not you have a mentor or not. So I think that's the kind of attitude that you have. Give you a little bit, and you just take it and you run. Nose down, head down, and you just bash through the barriers. And I love that. And I love that you said that you're really excited about the potential of what's going to happen. And you didn't focus too much on what you had to lose. And that's a key thing in life. Most people think about what they have to lose. Few people think about what they have to gain. That's what you did. Excellent job there. Okay. Now that you're just killing it, <laughs> killing it, what do we think <clears throat> end of 2018? What are you going to do in terms of your gross billings? Because we had said before, end of 2017, you wish you could get this, and that freaked people out. They're like, what's she complaining about? That's a ton of money. Yes, relatively speaking, it is. Relatively speaking, but we have goals. Mm -hmm. We set goals. We smash goals. We go to our stretch goals. So what is your goal for 2018 in terms of gross billings? Uh, 180,000. Hundred and eighty thousand. It was a hundred before, right? It was a hundred before until you told me to change it. <laughs> I did? Yes, you did. <laughs> well, I don't know why not. I didn't okay. say anything. Yes, hundred and eighty thousand. Boom. Now I have to ask you a couple of questions. Back when you were going to what school did you go to again? Cal State Fullerton. In the classroom or in the boardroom, Titans reach higher. Cal State Fullerton, what up? Cal State Fullerton, did you think in a year you could possibly pull down 180,000? Was that part of like even your idea of what you could do as a graphic designer? No, I've heard, well, in school, I did hear of people getting like $100,000 rebrands, but that in my mind was for those top agency people. Yeah. Like it wasn't, it wasn't anything that I thought I could necessarily do or like out of, out of reach for mere mortals, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're closing it. You have a killer attitude. You just now you're you, you're in the process of redesigning your website. Yeah. Excellent. You're doing everything that you need to do. Thank you. Is there anything else we need to talk about before we kind of get into some coaching stuff? I want to get into the coaching stuff. You do? Yeah. All right. We're gonna get into some coaching stuff on the next episode. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs>